Right, Clarets, fan reaction, Burnley nil, QPR nil. Um, what do we say about that? Well, it wasn't as bad as I think people are making out. Um, I think we obviously could have played a lot better. Um, and obviously, games like these, we should be we should be getting at least more than a point from. Um, but yeah, I don't think it was as bad as it's being made out to be. Um, I think we've got lucky with their chance where they've hit the crossbar. Um, but apart from that, I can't really remember any chances that QPR created. Um, obviously, I might be saying that with my claret tinted glasses on, but I really can't remember any point, any any chances that QPR did create in that game um i thought going forward well i thought creating chances we did well going forward um i thought we moved the ball well i thought we strung passes together well but when it actually came to getting the ball in the box and having a shot no one seems to want to take the responsibility to have a shot um, it's the same issue we had last season with company. It's the same issue we had at the start of that season, the championship winning season under company. No one wants to take a shot. No one wants to take the responsibility of having the shot um, and it going over. And I think today was obvious that we are screaming out for a striker. I think everyone said that all season up to now that it's it is blatantly obvious that we're screaming out for a striker. Um Foster obviously didn't play today, but we know he's not good enough. J Rod, as much as I love him, when he did come on, I thought he did well. Um but he isn't the answer. He's he's not the answer to to what we need. Um Fleming he isn't a number nine, he's 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 a number ten. Um, he's he's not a striker. He needs someone to be playing in front of him. Um, we need a striker. We need someone who's going to get the ball <clears throat> in the box and have a shot. And I think today, and most games this season show that up to now. Um, I thought defensively again we're looking solid. I think. Trafford didn't really have much to do. I think he look, looked a little bit shaky on his feet at times. Um, the same as the other night against Hull. There, there were moments where it did look a little bit shaky. But overall, I think, you know, he's, he's not really had much to do in the game. Um, like I said, defensively, we look solid. I think Egan Riley's got some flack, like I said, the, I said this the other night, Egan Riley's got some flack um of how he plays, but I think today he was outstanding. Um defensively and putting balls forward. You know, I think it was four or five times he's pinged a long ball out wide to Anthony and it it's got to him and it's a great ball. Um but yeah I think I think like I say defensively we're we're solid. Um we're a lot more pragmatic, we're a lot more Closing up shop, um, not quite this free flowing football that we had under company, but we're a lot more settled down with it and patient with the ball. Um, but it's this patience that gets frustrating. Um, you know, ninety second minute, we've got a chance. You know, we're we're screaming for the ball to come forward. Most of the Burnley fans are shouting for the ball to come forward and we're turning and passing it back to Trafford and like I say yeah fair enough we've still got a couple of minutes left but at that point in the game you need to be going all gun call for it I think if at that point in the game well no maybe if you've been going for it all game and if at that point you are going all going for it and you end up losing the game 1-0 I think more people will be more accepting of that than if you're just passing it round patiently. Like, 
I said this a few weeks ago and I stick by it. We're missing these moments like under company we refused to change from this high line passing around. Under Deitch, we refused to change from, especially towards the end of his tenure, we refused to change from this long ball team. And that's what was our downfall in the end and our downfall last season. And that's the thing that could end up being our downfall this season is that we're refusing to change. And these moments where you do need to mix it up, you do need to change it, you do need to go along or you do need to pass it about. Like, we're not doing them. Like, call your show. Every time he gets the ball, he wants to take every man on. There's moments to do it and there's moments not to. Roberts, when the ball comes out wide to him, I thought Roberts played well today, by the way. This isn't a dig at, dig at him. But when the ball comes out wide to him, he wants to put the ball in the box straight away. A guy, Adji, when he came on, the amount of times that Roberts overlapped him and he wanted to cut in and use his left foot. You know, the lad had only just come off on off the bench and I thought he brought a lot of energy and I thought he did well coming on today. Um, but <clears throat> there were moments to cut in on your left foot and there were moments to use that overlap and he didn't do it and... There's moments to try and poke and prod and try and through, put the ball through into the box. There's moments to have a shot outside the box. You have 20 shots outside the box. Eventually, one of them is going to at least test the goalkeeper. I mean, I thought QPR defended excellent today. I thought they did brilliant. Um, You know, it's another one of them where... I'm going to say that they came with a game plan and it were executed well because I thought that they defended brilliantly today um and that but the goalkeeper didn't have a right lot to do what he did have to do he did well but he didn't have a right lot to do and the best chance that i can remember us creating really was roberts hitting the crossbar having a shot outside the box you know if you if you have shots eventually something's gonna happen but we don't seem to want to I think something I saw something on the way home where it said we'd had twenty, twenty two shots or something today, really, because I don't feel like we had twenty two shots. I feel like we had about three. Um. Yeah, it it's just another frustrating day and another frustrating match, and I had a feeling today was going to be the day that it all clicked, and I don't want to say it again because we are still waiting for that click day, but. We're screaming out for a bit of creativity and conversation me and my missus and uh, a nephew had on the way down to the match today. <coughs> Nathan Teller, obviously not enjoying himself in Germany. How much we'd all like him back. There's not a single player in our squad, maybe Steve, for his defensive capabilities, and J-Rod for my pure sentimental feelings there's not a single player in that squad that I wouldn't swap for Nathan Teller because we need a player like that and there's no one in that team there's no one in this team where you look and you think he's going to get me you know 10 goals this season there's no one in that team and that that's clearly obvious what we're missing but I think we need to be Fleming is a 10. I think Loren as the midfielder, like one of the midfielders, I think Hannibal today could have come on and made a difference. Um, I, I just feel like today is a, a nearly a wasted opportunity. But it's not as bad as it's been made out. Um, I think at, at the, this time, I think we're third in the league. We may even be second, you know. We're we're still. We're still not performing, and we're still getting results, and we're still in a decent position in the league. So, you know, I'll take it, and uh, I I would much rather 
be getting the results like we are with the games that we are in the manner that we are than playing this sort of football we were playing last season and getting the results we were last season. I mean, I've seen calls for Parker out. We're in October. We're second, third in the league. You know, we're a point off the top. Set two points off the top, maybe four, I don't know. But, you know, we're, we're not this team. We're Burnley. Yes, we've been in the Premier League for a decent while. But we're not this team where we should be entitled to turn up and win every match. Like, we're, we're not that team. And I think a lot of people need to understand that of where we are now. Yeah, fair enough. We were in the Premier League for a long time. Yes, we are probably one of the strongest teams, if not the strongest team in this division. But we can't just expect to turn up and expect to beat teams every week like that. That's not how it works. And for people to be calling for Parker's head at this time just is ridiculous. And I think that entitlement that we're having at the moment, that not everyone, but a lot of people are having, it rolls onto the pitch, it rolls onto the turf. And the atmosphere, again, abysmal. Um, you know, 500 QPR fans outside us. <clears throat> and this, this is... It's just getting frustrating now. Not just the atmosphere on the turf, not just the calling for Parker's head, but I know that I'm very optimistic. I know that I will always say, you know, this is where we are in the league. Well, you know, I, 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 will, I will. But realistic, like realism check, we are where we are in the league. We're in a decent position. It's going to click. It's going to come together. But we do need a striker. We do need a striker. We need to know our main 11. We need to know our strongest players. And we need to play our strongest players. And this isn't like a Parker is the be-all and end-all. Like he's got some decisions wrong. I think, again, today, his substitutions could have come a little bit earlier. But overall... We've lost one game this season. You know, we take each game as it comes and just back the lads. Like, that's that's what we can do. It's all right to be down if we lose. It's all right to be down if we draw. It's all right to be down if we win. But back the lads. Trust the process. Yes, trust the process. And we'll get there. Up the Clarets.